Buenos días, Reggie. Buenos días, Isa. Va a ser un día maravilloso hoy. Look, that woman was treated like family. Family, do you understand what that means? And she was paid very well. And now you're telling me, hold on, I'm talking. And now you're telling me, hold on, I said, that she's going back to Panama. I'm leaving in a week. When am I supposed to be? There are berries in there. You missed one. Mr. Nino. Euler's equation says that if you cut the surface of a sphere into faces, edges, and vertices, and let F be the number of faces, E the number of edges, V the number of vertices, then you will always get Reggie Kipper. V minus E plus F equals two. That's correct. Same holds for a pyramid with five faces, four triangular, and one square, minus eight edges and five vertices, and really any other combination of edges, faces, and vertices. Euler was pretty thorough. Thank you, Mr. Kipper. Eyes front, Mr. Kipper. As I was saying, Consider the functions, go through the rules, and you will not fail. Rules will not fail you. Your calculus book theory reports are due on Friday. My office no later than Friday.
Janice. Hi. It's Eleanor. Um, do you... Is Dennis there? No, he didn't come home after his thing last night. No, I know. I'm, I'm not worried. I just thought maybe he crashed with you guys. No. I checked in the hall. He's not there. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Hey, it's me. Um, it's about 10.30. He never came home last night. And I'm done. Dennis, I'm done. Talk to Greg. Is he pissed? Yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry. Sorry, don't matter to me. Just get to work on time. Hello to pawn my fair love's ripening breast, to feel forever its soft fall and swell, awake forever in a sweet unrest. Still, still, to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever or else swoon to death. Hey. Were you trying to reach me last night? I ended up at Kirby's. Someone stole my phone. Can you believe that? Oh, okay, fine. You're pissed. How do you think I feel? Someone stole my phone. Be right back. Come with me a sec. Just take it easy before you get all emotional, okay? I really can't get fired right now, so could you please just go? Just let me explain no, what I, happened. I don't want to hear it. Come on, now. No, I'm thrilled Look, with this. I'm a fucking musician. Oh my it's my lifestyle. That's bullshit. That's what I do. That's all in your head. What? No. You work at the UPS store. That's what you do. A really smart ass, and why do we have a regular weekend gig? You have to pay them to let you play there. That doesn't quite count as a gig. Well, well fuck you then. Fine. No, no, come on. No. I threw your guitar out the window. You what? You... You fucking better not have. Fuck. Eleanor, you better not have. Just come outside and we can just talk it over for a second. Please, just, can we talk? No, we cannot talk. Would you please, just, just come out, talk to me. Everything okay? Everything's fine. Just come outside so we can talk it over for a second, okay? What's happening? Eleanor, can we just- Dennis, we can talk later. Just get out of here. Just, not later, now. Would you get out of here, please? Just go, talk to me. Okay, Bye. out. Sorry. Out. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Out. I'm sorry. Out. Eleanor, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Eleanor! You too, Eleanor. Out.
eating time. No reading time. Did the flower guy call? No, Mrs. I've had a house full of dead flowers for three days. Reggie, did you take the car to school today? No. What did I tell you? I'm not a cripple. I can walk. Reggie, you will take the car to and from school. I like the air, okay? I like to breathe in the air. Then roll down the window. I've got a car and driver sitting out there while you're walking to school. What's this sauce? Is it meat-based? No, eat now. I'm interviewing girls tomorrow. I'll do it in the library. Make sure everyone takes off their shoes. Yes, miss. What happened to Tula? She went back to Panama. How come? Uh, because of her green card. It's none of your concern. She didn't say goodbye. She told me to tell you goodbye. Was it because of me? Guess what? The universe doesn't revolve around you. Sometimes things just happen to occur in this world, okay? Whatever that means. It's no meat stew, Reggie. Comételo. Yes, but is this brown sauce vegetarian, Isa? Yes, I tell you. Is it really necessary to employ a nanny at this point? I'm 13 years of age. You're 12 years of age, and what are you gonna do when I go see Daddy? Live alone, like a little bachelor? Isa's here. I go to my daughter on the 8th for I one know. month. I know. I told you a long time ago, Isa. Yes, yes. Isa, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Will you bring my wine up to my bedroom, please? I'm gonna watch Master Chef and go to sleep. Hi, Mom. How are you? Yeah, I, I, I'm on a pay phone. I don't want to use my minutes. I know. Huh? I, I don't know. Linden Street? How's Shelly? Are you kidding me? Why is she doing? Don't let her do that, Mom. She shouldn't be working there, no matter how much she's getting. I'm fine. I got fired. Uh, it was just a bunch of stuff adding up, and then Dennis came in and made a big scene. And I don't really want to get into it, but I took my stuff out of his place and left. I, I don't know. I didn't really plan it all out. It just happened. Actually, I was thinking about maybe coming home for a little while. Um, probably a few weeks, I'm not sure how long. No, I'm not going back there. <laughs> he wouldn't let me anyway, I threw his guitar out the window. I, I, I don't know how long, Mom. Long enough, I mean, till I get some money together. I have 160 bucks to my name. I, I'm not gonna bring a lot of stuff. What do you think I'm gonna bring? I have everything I own sitting next to me in one suitcase. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, hang on. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's nothing definite. I was only thinking about it. I could stay with the girl from work. She said it'd be fine. Um, okay, well, I should go. This is probably costing you a fortune. Okay, I will. I will, don't worry. Tell Shelly that she shouldn't be working in that place no matter what she's making, okay? I will, okay. Bye. Yeah. 
go ahead. I just want to let you know Eleanor is going to stay the night tonight. Where's she going to sleep? On the couch. What's the problem? This isn't a freaking hotel. God, a nightmare she is. Is it going to be OK for me to stay here? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. If she wasn't such a pain in the ass, I'd let you stay longer. But technically, it's her place. So. Oh, it's fine. Tonight is fine. I have somewhere to go tomorrow. You sure? Yeah. I'm just going to lay down and read my book, get up early, and try to find a job. Oh, you know what? Here you go. Call these people. My friend Abby told me about it. It's like a temp agency. Au pair service? Yeah, it's like a service for nannies. Do you ever babysit? Uh, yeah, I guess, for my little sister. Well, there you go. Call them up. Tell them you have experience babysitting and taking care of kids or whatever. Oh, my friend Abby got a job taking care of the kids of, what's her name? A British girl from that show. Anyway, just dress nice, go in there, bullshit them about your experience. I was gonna go in there myself, but they checked to see if you have a criminal record, so. Thanks. <sighs> okay, well, I'll see you later. Okay, lock it, will ya? Working in a bar, restaurant, and I've been babysitting mostly. Okay. Like as a nanny. A nanny? Yeah. I, I uh, was a babysitter for a family. Um, and did you want to list them as a reference? No, because they moved back to Europe. They're from Belgium. Okay, and is there any way I could contact them? Probably not. Uh, I, I could see if I could get their new number there, but probably not. I also took care of my little sister. I, I pretty much took care of her from the time she was born until she was in high school. My mom worked full time when we were kids, so I pretty much raised her. So I guess you could call my mom or my sister. I mean, as a reference. Okay. Can I see your driver's license? Why don't you have a seat out there? Six letter word for most spare. Nearest. Mirrors? M-E-R-E-S-T. For mirror, that is solely or no more or better than what is specified. Nearest. The smallest or slightest. Yeah, what? It, it's none of your fucking business where I stayed. Do I ask you where you go all night? It happens all night the fucking time, Dennis. And I told you I'm finished. Oh, and thanks for getting me fired from my job with your little tantrum. What did you think would happen? What? No, I'm not coming back, I told okay. you. Okay, we don't usually move forward until we've had a chance to check everything over thoroughly, but something's come in that you might be perfect for, and I don't want to miss out. It would start immediately, possibly this afternoon. How does that work? Yeah, yes, I can start immediately. This afternoon? Uh, yeah. It's a live-in situation. Okay. They're looking for someone on a temporary basis. A couple of months could go longer. How does that work? It's fine. It's a family on the Upper West Side. It would essentially require you looking after their 12-year-old, a little light housework, yes? Yes. Great. Here's the address. They'll be expecting you. It's a brief interview with the woman of the house. On your way, stop at a drugstore, pick up a little light blush and something subtle for your eyes. It's a bit much. Better get moving.
Barbara Kipper. Eleanor Logan. Well then. Let's go in the library and chat. You are from upstate? Yeah. Okay, well, my nanny left unexpectedly. My husband is in China, in Beijing. That's where his company, his business is based. I will be joining him there in less than a week. Do you smoke? No. If you're gonna smoke, only on the balconies. There are 15 different balconies. Choose one if you wanna smoke. Okay, I don't smoke. So, Reggie, what did Claire tell you? Anything? Uh, very little. He's 12. Basically, you get him to and from school and make sure he eats. That's it. Anything else you need, Issa will help you. Issa? Yes, Mama. Christ. You're two feet away from me. Don't do that. Yes, Mama. <sighs> Helena here is going to take over for Tula. Eleanor. Do you have a boyfriend? No. If you want to see your boyfriend, go to his house or wherever, because it is strictly prohibited here, okay? Okay, see, here's the thing. He's got to eat. If you don't make him, he won't. He only likes certain things. He's very picky about it. No meat. Vegetarian only. He doesn't eat meat, fish, or poultry. He doesn't eat anything except tofu and vegetarian stuff. What time's he out today? He has his music until 4.30. Great, so you will pick him up at 4.30. I absolutely do not want him walking to or from school. A, it's not safe. B, that's why I employ a driver. So we're set. Issa, make sure Laura here gets the whole rundown on everything. I've got my massage in 15 minutes. I'm gonna take my pill and get ready. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I'm Eleanor. I'm here to pick you up. Did they tell you? 
I didn't tell you. Okay. Well, the car's right there. Actually, I prefer to walk. Well, your mom really wants you to take the car. Despite what my mother might have said, I have an arrangement with the guy, an understanding, a financial agreement. Now I aim to walk home. It's my thing. I do it every day, rain or shine, period, the end. Fine. Fine. I'm Eleanor. Reggie. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Pretty amazing. I'm sorry? You're playing. <laughs> I mean, that piece is absolutely gorgeous. Thanks. The way the viola and the violins interact, it's so sad and beautiful. Who composed that? Me. You composed it? I did. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, you must really love doing that. I mean, I could tell you really love to play. Something to do. Is that what you want to do when you grow up? When I grow up? Yeah. No. Why not? Why not? Well, let's see. First off, the prospect of ending up a bitter and lonely drunk doesn't quite appeal to me. OK. And not to mention the fact that art, as a language, is dead. Doesn't matter what you have to say or how well you might be able to say it. You're dead. Kind of a bleak view. Yes, it is. Boom. Do zipper. Well, what is that? It's like 120 points to me. It's not a word. It is a word, dickhead. Now in plural, one of the 12 legendary knights. You should know that with all your Dungeons and Dragons nonsense. If you say so. Can't believe that little fox is gonna be living here. She is so hot. Man, is she hot. That's what you say about every girl you come in contact with? No, just the super hot ones. It's only because you're confused, awkward, and insecure. Okay, Mr. Freud. And convinced you'll never get a girl to have sex with you. Right, sure. Okay. This looks so good. What's the sauce? Just eat it. Meatless brown gluten. Eat it, Reggie. It's vegetarian stir fry. She's always trying to sneak beef broth into everything. Sounds like a great setup. Can't believe how fast it all happened. That's what kind of scares me about the whole thing. I talked to the mother for like 10 minutes before she hires me to take care of her 12 year old son. Next thing I know, I'm living there. Sounds like you're totally locked out. I mean, what's the big deal? They're like gazillionaires. The house is the size of Grand Central, and what do I know about taking care of a 12 year old boy? Free room and board, plus you get paid. What more could you want? And besides, you live with Dennis for a year, you should be fine with a 12-year-old. Yeah, right. Maybe just see him and have some closure. I mean, you threw his guitar out the window. Yeah, that's right, I did. Fuck him. That was my closure. Back uptown to the rich folk. Bye. Bye.
stop? It's beautiful. No, it's really not. I'm not feeling too inspired for the cello these days. Is this where you practice? It's the best place in the house. Perfect acoustics. This place. <laughs> I mean, this house is incredible. It was built by Captain Francis Falk in 1898. He also designed the Museum of Natural History and was clearly a fan of big, overbearing swimming pools. Why is it empty? Uh, my mom was going to get tiles handmade in Majorca or something or other. Guess she hasn't gotten around to it. A lot of things in this house she hasn't gotten around to do, as you can plainly see. Yeah, but in the meantime, you could be swimming in it. No, not me. Don't know how. What? Why? Guess nobody ever taught me. Well, that won't do. I'll teach you. Mmm. <laughs> so good. I go eat my dinner now. Please let me know you need something. I wish she'd eaten here with us. She likes it in there. It's weird. Is it? She likes to eat in there on her own. She needs a TV guide. Sometimes she watches Telemundo. You know, perhaps you're projecting your own personal mores and expectations onto her. Here is to a stellar and triumphant performance. Thanks. Mm. So what's the plan? You got anything lined up with your quartet for the summer? I think I may be a little burnt on the cello. Mm. Could be you just need a break. Yeah. Maybe I do. I think I'm gonna take a break from the cello. I mean, I was only suggesting a week or something. And then, you know, come back to it. No, you're right. No one under the age of 75 is interested in that dusty and antiquated music anymore. It's time has come and gone. That isn't true. I didn't mean a long break. I wasn't suggesting that. No, I think a break is in order. It's old fashioned and obsolete. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. So where are you from? Oneida, New York. It's a little town near Syracuse. Of course, I've heard of it. Oh? I was researching a paper on pre-war city design, which involved quite a bit of reading on that particular region. Oh. Huh. So was it nice growing up there? It was nice when I was little, I guess. Maybe that's just how I remember it. You know, now everyone's broke and unemployed and everything's all run down. Any siblings? You mentioned an older brother. I have a younger sister as well. What does she do? She works in a bar. And your brother? Uh, he's in the army. Oh. He's in Afghanistan. Oh. What about your parents? <laughs> Finish your ice cream before it melts. Pencils down. As you count towards your final GPA, your calculus books are due in my office on Friday. That's no later than Friday. That's not Monday. That's Friday. Hey, how'd it go? I'm just glad it's over. I hate physics. Physics be damned! How was the calculus exam? Great. This guy, how the heck does he stay so calm? I'm not spastic like you, that's how. OK, 
Okay, okay. Who wants a Jamba Juice? We gotta get going. Your mom's leaving today. Oh, where's she going now? Mind your own business. Okay, take it easy. Do I ask you questions every time your mother goes somewhere? I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. We have to use the car. Your mom's leaving for the airport in an hour. Mi niño. Uh, no, gracias. Pero quisiera un café. Un café? No way, Jose. I'm sorry. I'm late. I don't want to be involved. Good morning, lady. Oh, don't we have to take you to camp? What time? Sit down. Have a cup of coffee. Yes, he has camp start today, but he says he won't go. Well, he has to go. What do you mean he won't go? He says he won't go. Uh, okay, uh, come on. We're going to be late, and I, I don't even know where to take you. Where do I take him? Relax. I'm not going. Well, it isn't up to you. Oh? Who is it up to? Your mother left me very specific instructions. Is that so? Yes, it is so. Don't get wise with me, kid. Who's getting wise? I'm not getting wise. I'm just sitting here doing the crossword puzzle. I stay out of it. I don't know anything about it. Just seems to me those instructions left you by my mother couldn't have been all that specific, seeing as how you don't know where or when I'm supposed to go. You're going to camp. Hey, this doesn't look half bad. This isn't gonna happen. What is so bad about it? You get to go to camp in the country at a lake, for God's sakes. I wish I could go. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Camp song sing-alongs mundane trivial debate, and pointless conversations involving sports, heroes, and action movies. And that's just on the bus. Never mind the canoeing, the obstacle courses, the campfires, the, the adolescent camaraderie. Adolescent camaraderie is good. You're an adolescent. Look, this is my mother's ill-conceived notion. It's not mine. Maybe we should call her. I would strongly advise against doing that. Just let me take care of it from my end and avoid the complication. I'm responsible for you. And do the responsible thing. I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set. What do you mean, we're all set? Well, I know that guy. He's gonna take care of it. Wait, hold on. He marks my name down and I send him a check in the mail. No questions asked. Wait, you send him a check? It's okay. I have an arrangement with the guy. Try to understand, okay? I simply do not belong at camp. Are you hungry? I bet you're hungry. I know this great place not far from here. You like eggs Benedict? It's all organic. Here, come on. Hold on. Hold on. Fifty-two bucks for a spinach salad? It's a heck of a salad. Trust me. Everything here, top notch. I usually get the wild mushroom risotto. Go ahead, get whatever you like. I got this. We have an account here. I guess just the garden salad. That's all? Eat. 
This guy's a world-class chef. What are we supposed to do for the next six weeks? This is New York City, kid. Never a loss for things to do here. Trust me. It just seems wrong. You're supposed to be in that camp. Camp Pinnacle is not an option for me, okay? It never was. Don't well, not refer to camp anymore. But it's not up to you. Yes, it is. No one cares. No one cares where I am. That isn't true. Look, I don't mean it like that. It's just a fact. The operation continues whether I'm at camp or home reading. Personally, I'd rather be home reading if it's all the same, and it is, believe me, all the same. What about Isa? What about her? She's fine. Do you think she's concerned where I am or what I'm doing? She works in the house. It's just weird. It's so weird, Reggie. Yes, well, this is my life. Welcome to the weirdness. I'm just trying to navigate a course towards safety and sanity best way I know how. Okay. Was about to give up. What the fuck are you doing? Clearly, I've been trying to get in touch to talk Man, to you. Man, I'm not trying to play like head games or some shit, okay? I'm serious. I, I've ended this relationship. I thought maybe we could just talk it over. You fucked around a million times, okay? You 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 get drunk with your stupid friends. You treat me like shit. So just forget it. Forget it. Go home. Like I made a mistake, and I realize it now. I just want to talk. We talked. Stop texting me. Eleanor. I mean, ever since you left, I've been so, like, despondent. Okay, I'm sorry that you're feeling bad now. Maybe you should have thought about that before. I heard a bunch of songs about you. I want you to hear them. <laughs> Jesus em. Christ. Well, let's go get a drink. Let's go down to Scratcher. Bill's DJing what over there. What are you talking it's about? just a drink. Just, just a talk. Are you listening to me in any way? I'm working, you idiot. I'm all messed up inside. I haven't been able to sleep. I haven't eaten. If you think that this cloying, whining, like, desperate act is in any way attractive or appealing, you're wrong. So goodbye. Goodbye. Eleanor, come on. Please. Oh, so you're just gonna be like that now? So in other words, you're just gonna move on? Not in other words. In those exact words. Well, fine. But you're gonna pay for that guitar. Make no mistake. Fucking bitch. What are you doing out here? What's going on? Nothing. Go inside. You're gonna pay for my shit. Fucking bitch. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm so sorry about that. Can I make you a snack? I can whip up some veggie soba noodles real quick. Or how about some tofu curry? It's no problem. You should eat something. Sure. Great. We can finish watching the movie. If you don't mind me asking, is he prone to such outbursts? No. Not that I was aware anyway. What a colossal mistake. Life is a series of colossal mistakes. <sighs> I'm doing a horrible job at taking care of you. What are you talking about? You're doing a great job. No, I don't want you to know about this stuff. What stuff? My stuff. The sordid details of my breakup, my, the, the stuff that happens in my personal life. And we don't know each other that well, and you're too young to understand. Don't be too sure about that. I have a great deal of understanding. Oh, God. Well beyond my years. Look, I just don't want you to worry about it or think about it, okay? I won't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. 
Good. But I can't guarantee I won't think about it. It's what I do. I think about things. It's my nature. Fine. You can think. Fair enough. Whoa. Really? What? An uncharacteristic lapse by the master. Just left yourself open for some brute force. Got your horsey horse. Doesn't matter. I'll still win. So, you know how we were supposed to go to Sydney, Australia for vacation? Yeah. Well, now we're not. Oh? Yeah. My dad lost his shirt in some deal with this guy in Stanford. Or some guy named Stanford. Who knows? Anyhow, I have to go to karate camp. That sounds awful. <laughs> Why on earth does he think I need to learn karate? Maybe because you're constantly getting your ass kicked? What I'd really like to do is this hip-hop dance camp. That should do wonders for your profile. It's like this hip-hop camp they have. Like, you know, dancing hip-hop style and stuff like that. I know what it is. It's horrifying. Don't do that. It's easy for you to say. You get to sit in the park all day with your hot as hell nanny. Yep, yeah, that's what I do all day. Here, check it out. There are all these super fly looking ladies in the pamphlet. Mm-hmm. And you figure all these fly-looking ladies are gonna be there just waiting your arrival? Gotta be in it to win it. Good luck with that, buddy. Of course my dad said no. Smart man. He just made some vaguely racist remark and threw it in the trash. Checkmate. Rats. Gotta get your head out of the clouds. Sugar-free juicy fruit. I really love that painting. She kind of looks like you. I beg your pardon? I mean in the eyes. Oh. Good, because she's fairly round. Do you know anything about Modigliani? No. I'll bet I'm about to. He died in penury and squalor in 1920 at the age of 35. What's penury? Extreme poverty. Hmm. Yeah, he was discovered by a neighbor in the final throes of tubercular meningitis. Evidently, his bed was littered with bottles of alcohol and empty sardine cans. His girlfriend, Jean Hebutem, was there taking care of him. I think she could have cleared away some of the sardine cans. She was nine months pregnant with their second child. Two days after his death, she threw herself backwards from a fifth floor window. Whoa. Can I ask you a question? Sure. When did you first become so advanced? I'm not sure I became advanced. Well, I mean, for instance, when did you start to read? I was able to read when I was 18 months old. I guess that might have been when I became advanced. Well, what were you reading when you were 18 months old? My mother walked in and I was reading Oh, the Thinks You Can Think by Dr. Seuss. Out loud? Yep. But she must have flipped out. She was quite amused. She'd bring me out at parties. That's insane. Yes, it is insane. It's insane to wake a child of less than two years of age and insist that he sit in the middle of the table and read, oh, the things you can think out loud for a bunch of drunk people. Holy cow. And then, let's see, um, I guess right around when I was four, I figured out I was a sort of math prodigy, solving pretty intricate math problems. Wait, what? Multiplying seven to ten digit numbers in my head. I could give you the cube root of pretty much any number. Like Rain Man. No, I believe that character was an autistic savant. As you can tell, I'm alert. 
extroverted, affable, and articulate. Of course. And not to mention devilishly handsome. Not to mention. For me, it's always been like a native language. Numbers, playing music, composing. It's just the way it came out. My father, evidently, was extremely intelligent. Huh. What does he do in China? Who? Your dad. He doesn't do anything in China. He's dead. My mother remarried. I'm sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago. I was three. How did he die? Someone ran him over. He was in Zurich. They drive like maniacs over there. Yeah. Wow. He was a concert pianist. He traveled quite a bit. He also held a degree in physics from MIT. Sounds amazing. I'm sure he had his problems like everyone else. However, I like to idealize him into some mythic figure. Makes me feel better. Guess he also drank a great deal. People will do that. You hungry? Come on. Wow. I forgot how bad Bully is cooking is. Mm, this stuff tastes like gravel. You want me to ask her to fix you something else? Nah, she's nice. Hey, you want to sneak out of here? Go get some Chinese. There's a great place in my own neighborhood. I'll keep her busy. You dump this stuff down the sink. Delicioso. Vamos a caminar. Pero el resto de la cena? No, gracias. We're gonna go for a walk. Un poquito de postre. No, gracias. You can shut down the kitchen for the night. ¿Estás seguro? Sí, gracias. Sí. Gra gracias, Polia. ¿Seguro? Sí. anyone anywhere. He practically lives in the front seat of that car. Actually, he lives in Crown Heights with his wife and seven-year-old daughter who suffers from cerebral palsy. Kind of got a soft spot for him. Plus, he's got my back, if you know what I mean. Not really. Mm. Mm, well, I tell you. <laughs> Good, huh? Amazing. <laughs> I can feel the MST in my toes. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get sleepy. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Another thing about Gerard, he used to work for John Gotti. Who? Gerard, my driver. Mm. He used to be a soldier for Gotti. Mm. Is that so? I believe he may still have some ties to some of those folks. I was thinking that he might be of some assistance. With what? Your situation. I follow. Your situation with your boyfriend. Oh, my God. It won't be an issue in your life after that. Trust me. Are you out of your mind? It used to be his job, that kind of thing. D Would you just drop the subject, please? You could just go and have a talk with him. I appreciate the concern at all. Just a suggestion. I, I told you not to worry about any of that. Okay, okay. Beautiful day. Let's go for a walk in the park. Do you happen to know who Lu Hoi Sing is? Why don't you practice the cello? You, you could take it on one of the balconies and play. He was the first Chinese person to settle in New York. He arrived in 1862. He married an Irish woman who bore him two daughters. Get your cello. You haven't practiced in weeks. Ah, I'm done with the cello. It takes too much out of me. Don't say that. I have no interest in the cello. All right. Fine. Let's go to the park. Ride that stinking park every stinking day. Then let's go to a different stinking park. Hey, should we call up one of your friends and, you know, set up some kind of play date? Play date? Yeah. Aren't you getting a little sick of hanging around with me all day? No, not at all. Are you getting sick of me? No, of course not. I just thought maybe one of your musician friends. 
Are you kidding me? What? They're not my friends. I don't have friends like that, I told Come you. On. Those people barely speak to me. Well, I bet if you opened up, they'd really like you. Perhaps you need to make more of an effort. Well, let's at least call Raj. I know he's your friend. He's at karate camp. Hey! You wanna play Foursquare? No, thank you. Come on, Ben! Man alive. That's harsh. We gotta find a way to keep her out of the kitchen. It's lentils, I think. Como te gusta la sopa, Andresito? We love it. We were just discussing the delectable taste. Muy bien, es mi especialidad. Might be time to change your number. Me alegra que te guste tanto para hacértela de nuevo. Yeah, what do you want, Dale? I'm working. Yeah? Uh-huh. How long has he been in there? Well, is anyone with him? Yeah, okay, fine. I will. Why didn't you call me before? Can I speak to my mother? Oh, no, it's fine. It's just, I just don't understand why no one told me sooner. <sighs> okay, thanks. Who was it? That's my Uncle Dale. Is everything okay? <sighs> yeah. My dad's in the hospital. What's wrong with him? Um, he's uh, very sick. He's been sick for a long time, but um, I guess now it's just really bad. What does he have? He's just very sick. Related to his alcoholism. Cirrhosis of the liver? I'm gonna have to go up there. To Oneida? Anything I can do? No, it's okay. <sighs> Call my friend Sylvia. She's gonna come and stay with you for a couple days while I'm away. Sure. I don't want to call your mom and cause any undue stress. Sure. <sighs> Is that okay? Well, I don't see why not. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, Sylvia. She's great. I mean, she's fine. I'm only gonna be gone for 48 hours. Okay. I could call the agency and do it according to protocol, but I don't wanna stir the pot. No, I wouldn't do that. It's okay, don't worry. I don't wanna go. I just think he's gonna die. Tell you what I think. I think that you and me should travel up to Oneida together. I'll keep you company.
You like M&M's? We got M&M's. He doesn't eat that stuff. No, thank you. You like Ritz crackers? We got Ritz crackers. Or uh, beer nuts? How about beer nuts? No, thank you. I can go to Wegmans and get some stuff tomorrow. I'm sure shit not going nowhere tonight. So what do you like to do, little boy? He likes to read. He's very smart. What grade you in? Fourth? Fifth? Oh, that's somewhat complicated. He's very smart. Oh. Okay. Why don't you take your coats off and stay a while? Because it's freezing in here. How about turning on the heat? You want to pay my nine bill? Summertime for crying out loud. So it's like 40 degrees in here. So how long are you planning to stay? Are you kidding me? I just walked in the door. All right, everybody. <sighs> I'll go see Dad in the morning, and then we'll go get back on the bus. How's that? Don't give the hell how long you stay. Stay as long as you want. Just keep your hands off the heat. It's summertime. Jesus, Donna, you got a real attitude. I'll see Dad, and then we'll go. You like meatloaf, little boy? I got a big old meatloaf in the freezer. No, thank you. Oh, what a slob my sister is. She's got a lot of stuff. sleep in this room. It'll be okay. Would you be more comfortable if we stayed in a hotel? Yes, but I can't afford that. Yes, but would you be more comfortable? I need to borrow your car. Where the hell are you going? We're gonna stay at a hotel. For Christ's sake, Eleanor. I'll bring it back after the hospital. What time? Where are you, where are you going? It's 9 o'clock at night. What the hell are you gonna do? Go driving around town with this little kid? There's gas in there. What hotel do you think you're going? I'll put gas in it. That room's a mess. We can't sleep in there. Well, if we knew what time you were coming and that you were bringing guests, we would have straightened up. Can I borrow your car or not? <sighs> no, there's gas in there. Bring it back in the morning. You're welcome. They have a pool. Closed for renovation. Oh, well. So is Dale your mom's brother? My dad's. And he got married when my parents split up. Wow. They were all friends in high school. My dad joined the service, went to fight in the Gulf War. Dale was there for her, I guess. And then my dad came home. He was all messed up and started doing all this bad stuff. So they got divorced and Dale moved in. I'm tired. Let's go to sleep. When I close my eyes, it feels like I'm still on the bus. What made you leave? Your whole family's here. I think you just answered your own question. I wanted to go to Juilliard. To be an actress? <laughs> no. God, no. For music. Music? Yeah, I play the cornet. What? The cornet. It's like a trumpet, only smaller. I know what a cornet is. So you're a musician? Yeah. 
Why didn't you tell me before? I did not tell you. How long have you played? Since the fourth grade. I did this test to check everyone's total ability. And I got a perfect score, so I got the free rental. Wait, free rental? That's how you started playing the cornet? <laughs> well, actually, I wanted to play the trumpet, but they were out, so they handed me a cornet just fine by me because it's easier to play. The case was a lot lighter to carry around. That was lucky. Yeah. I played in the band all through high school. I loved it. I was chosen to play in this special, like, all-star band they put together for the ceremony to open the new war memorial in Syracuse. That sounds like a big deal. Hillary Clinton was there to cut the ribbon. Got to play solo. So what happened with Juilliard? They invited me to attend. Wow. Yeah. They couldn't offer me a full scholarship, so I didn't have enough money for the tuition. That's awful. Not really. Not sure I really wanted to go there. So what did you do then? Got a job waiting tables. Started playing in the subway. No. Yeah. <laughs> And play all these, like, Beatles songs and made good money. That's how I met Dennis. In the subway? Yeah. He saw me, and one day he just started hanging out there <laughs> on the platform. The trains would come and go, and he'd just sit there on the bench. Did he give you money? Oh, yeah. Mm. After a while, he started bringing me coffee and stuff. One time he dropped a bag of Skittles in my case. It was cute. And then finally I asked him, you know, hey, you ever going to say hello? What did he say? He said he didn't want to bother me. He just loved the sound of my trumpet. What did he say? I said, it's not a trumpet, dummy. It happens to be a coronet. <laughs> what did he say? I don't remember. Then he took me to lunch at this Korean barbecue place, which I thought was really cool. And we started, you know, hanging out. Like boyfriend, girlfriend? No, not right away. He had a band. That was the other thing. He asked me to join his band. He plays guitar. Well, not anymore since you threw it out the window. Yeah, well, I don't feel so good about doing that. I let my emotions get the better of me. So where's your coronet? I don't have it anymore. Why not? Long story, got in a little financial situation. You sold it? Sold it? Yeah. It's a nice horn, too. An old. My dad bought it for my high school graduation. Total surprise. I didn't even know he was there. I hadn't seen him for a while. And then when I was leaving the ceremony, he was waiting in the parking lot. I was holding this case with a big red pull around it. Well, good night. Good night. What was the name of that piece you wrote for the recital? Like Sunday, like rain. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'll write a part for Cornet.
Shally. Hey, Eleanor. This is Reggie. You dyed your hair. <laughs> so I heard that you guys stayed at Days Inn last night. I'm sorry the room was such a mess. Yeah, could have cleaned it up a little bit. No, that's kind of hard to do when you're working 40 hours a week. And, and what are you doing working in that place? There are plenty of places besides that to work in. You know what? It is none of your business where I work. Are you gonna cover my fucking car insurance and payments for me? Come on. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's right. Acting all high and mighty in front of your friend. Where'd you go? Don't tell me it's said at the day's end. I'm putting out the cigarette. There's a child present. Where's Dale? Sleeping. You like Lucky Charms? I got Lucky Charms. He's fine. No, thank you. Here's his lousy keys. Call in a taxi. Where are you going now? Bus station. Bus station? Did you see your father? I thought that's what you came to do. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. How about you? Have you seen him? Has anyone here bothered to go down there and Get see your him? voice down. You have had a bug up your ass since you showed up here. Matter. Yeah, I'd like a taxi, 59 Penwick Street. Yeah, to the bus station. Thanks. What the hell is all this noise going on? He's on life support, Dale. Yeah, I know that. They said that they've been calling you and you never call them back. Do you know what his veteran benefits cover? Not very much. That's the reason they have been calling here. I, I, I just don't understand why. Would it have been so hard for you to go down there and sit with him? He's your brother. He was all alone. Hey, I didn't see you nowhere when things started getting bad. So don't go giving me no lectures. We'll wait on the corner. Come back in the house, Eleanor. Go to hell! Hey, Eleanor, take it easy, will you? I'm never coming back here again. Just come back inside. Eleanor. Eleanor. someday see my brother if he ever comes back and you know i worry about my sister though sometimes i want to strangle her she could come see you in new york sure i think actually i'm gonna head out west out west this friend of mine lives in idaho works at a ski resort and makes pretty good money she's always telling me she could job there. Sounds cold. It's really pretty. I've seen pictures. It's not cold all the time. So that's what you're gonna do? Yeah, I think so. What about the cornet? What about it? I'll come back to it someday. You have to. Why don't you read your book? Finished it. Grapes of Wrath. There's a happy story for you. the gift and you have an obligation to take care of it what are you talking about for all you know i could be the worst cornet player in the whole world i don't think so i don't think you would have been chosen for that all-star band if that were the case you certainly wouldn't have gotten into juilliard it's a crime to deprive the world of your art I thought you said art was dead yes and it will remain that way if all the great artists abandon their cornets and move to idaho Just promise me you'll come back to it. 
promise me you'll come back to your music. I will if you will. Deal. My toast off. You breathe so deeply when you sleep. I was dreaming. I was at this lake that we used to go to when I was a little girl. Dennis was there. Did you love him? I guess so. Thought I did. Did he love you? He said he did. Told me he did, but. You know, who knows? First he was nice, and then he started treating me bad and lying and stuff, so I guess you never really know. Do you think you're ever gonna get married? Have kids? So many questions. Sorry, I'm just curious. I don't think so. I don't think that stuff is all it's cracked up to be. I've never seen it work. I would disagree. It was all sentimental. It does work. If you belong together with someone, then it works. The trouble is finding someone you belong with it belongs with you. Do you think you'll ever see him again? No. If someone doesn't treat you the way you deserve, then... They don't deserve to have you. My dad always told me that. Will I? Will you what? See you. I'm right here. After you go, I mean. You're going, right? So will I ever see you again? If you want to. We could send letters and stuff. Keep in touch. Something tells me a year from now you won't remember my name. That's not true. I wonder if anyone will ever love me. I think the odds are pretty good. So, how old is he? Oh, he's 12. He's really great. You'll love him. Hey, Reg. Come meet Karina. Hi, Reggie. Nice to meet you. You have a beautiful home. Thank you. It was built by Captain Francis Falk in 1898. He also designed the Museum of Natural History. Oh, that's so interesting. Not really. He designed lots of buildings. Come and help me show her around. No, thank you. I'm gonna go back in my room and finish reading this biography of Groucho Marx. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.
dark roast French press, just like you like it. Mmm, awesome. Hope you're hungry. I made a vegetable frittata and some flourless pancakes. Come on down. More coffee? No, thank you. This is delicious. He said we'll be here tomorrow at 8 a.m. So Karina's gonna make your dinner tonight. And lunch. I can feed myself. Don't forget your vitamins. Why'd you have to go? Must be Karina. She's just getting herself unpacked. Do you want to go for a walk or something? I think I should probably get going. Good night. Oh, this is for you. What is it? I made some penne with fresh pesto and some of that crispy kale you like for your trip. Thanks, Reggie. Karina's very nice. Yeah, she seems great. She likes to play chess, she told me. Cool. Um, your mom's back on the 27th, and she's gonna call you tonight. Issa's back tomorrow morning, so. I know, don't worry. Straight on to Idaho, then. I'm not too sure about that right now. I think I need to go home for a while, regroup, you know, gather myself. Sometimes that's the best thing. Regroup, take stock. It's been really nice getting to know you. I believe it's only been a couple of months. I feel like I've known you. I have all these words, these things, and things I feel the need to say to you. Only now. Suddenly I don't have the capacity to speak. I couldn't have stayed forever, you know? It was only supposed to be a temporary thing.